Hello and welcome to this tutorial on using and managing dates in JavaScript. In this video, we will cover the basics of working with dates in JavaScript as well as some more advanced techniques using popular third-party libraries. Whether you are a beginner or an experienced developer, there is something here for everyone. So dates are a crucial part of many web applications. Whether you are building a social media platform, an e-commerce website or something else entirely. JavaScript provides a number of built-in functions and methods for working with dates, making it easy to perform common tasks such as formatting dates, calculating time differences and more. One of the most common tasks when working with dates in JavaScript is formatting them for display to the user. To do this, we can use the built-in date object and its various methods such as to date string to time string and to locale string here is an example of how you might use these methods to display the current date and time so first let's create a date object const current date equals to new date so we will create a new date object using the date constructor now first log to the console the date string from this date object so current date dot date string let's check the browser's console so this is the date which will be printed when we will execute the method to date string now let's see what the output looks like when we will output the time so i'm just going to copy this statement and instead of to date string let's just use to time string so this is how the time string outputs. If you want to see both date and time in a helpful manner, then instead of date and time string, you can simply print to locale string. This will output both date and time in the current locale format. So this is the date and this is the time. Another useful feature of the date object is the ability to calculate time differences. For example, you might want to know how many days have passed since a particular event. To do this, you can use the getTime method to get the number of milliseconds elapsed since the Unix epoch. So Unix epoch is nothing, it's the time elapsed since January 1, 1970. So when we calculate the difference of number of elapsed milliseconds since the unix epoch then we can use basic math to calculate the time difference so here is an example if we have a start date let's just use the date as january 1 2022 and let's also have an end date this could be December 31st 2022 now let's get the time difference this can be found by doing end date dot get time and we will subtract the start date dot time now from time difference we can calculate the days difference so it is going to be time difference divided by thousand for millisecond multiplied by 3600 multiplied by 24 so this is the formula to convert the milliseconds into days and finally we can log to the console this days difference to find out how many days have passed between these two dates and the output is 364 days so this is how we can calculate date difference or time difference in addition to the built-in date object there are also a number of popular third-party libraries that can make working with dates in javascript even more easier 
One such library is moment.js which provides a number of useful functions and methods for formatting, parsing and manipulating dates. Here is an example of how you might use moment.js to format a date. To use any third party library, first we have to fetch its reference. So I'm going to use the moment.js CDN URL from Cloudflare. Now let's fetch the current date using moment. So const date equals to moment.format. We can provide the format in which we want the date output. So month and then days and then year separated by hours and then minutes and then seconds and then we can log to the console to see the output of this date so this is the output january 6 2023 this is the date of recording this video and this is the current time in conclusion we have covered the basics of working with dates in javascript as well as some more advanced techniques whether you are just starting out with javascript or you are an experienced developer you now have the tools and knowledge you need to confidently work with dates in your own projects don't forget to practice what you have learned and if you have any questions or need further assistance don't hesitate to reach out thanks for watching this video